Hi, I'm Antonio Centeno, the founder of Real Men Real Style, and today I'm going to be talking about men's wallets, what to carry in your wallet. Okay, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. By doing that, these videos will come right to you. In addition, right below is the like button. If you like this video, if you find it useful, I would appreciate it if you would like it. And if you want to learn more about men's wallets or men's style in general, I link you to some useful articles below. So go ahead and click down there in the description and you're going to see I link you to some useful, uh, useful articles. So uh, let's go ahead and talk about this. What goes into a men's wallet? And this came about because I put up another article talking about uh, different types of wallets. And then, you know, I think there were a few people that emailed me and they were questioning about, okay, well, what do you carry in my wallet? So let me go ahead and break down my wallet. And this is probably what I carry about half of the time. And it's really, it's pretty simple. I carry my identification. So my Wisconsin driver's, Wisconsin's driver's license, uh, two credit cards. Boom, right there. I also carry beans and books. It's my favorite coffee uh, coffee store. And my Roundy's rewards card. Yep, that's right. I get discounts when I go to the grocery store. <laughs> and uh, I always carry about $100 cash. I think uh, even though we live in a society where you can go without cash, cash is still king in certain little areas and you just need to have, and always have a little bit of small change. Have a few ones, have some fives, just in case you need to tip somebody. The last one, and that's something that kind of surprised me that uh, I, I don't think many people even think about. I always carry an emergency set of five business cards and I keep them in this little black pouch to protect them, to keep them, you know, from getting rough edges. But I always just keep about five cards in there and I go through and I replenish that whenever it needs it. But my whole reasoning is that you never know. And, and when I go to networking events, I'm always wearing a sports jacket. So actually I keep business cards in one of my inside pockets. So I've always got backup business cards there. But I find that so many times you're going to meet somebody and you never expect that this person could be someone that could really, you know, introduce you to somebody or this could be a great uh, potential business partner or perhaps you're you're interested in uh, following up with this person because you're physically attracted to them. You know, you want to have a business card. You want to have some way to stay in touch. And so I, I can't stress that enough. Always have a business card. Well, you may be saying, I don't have my own business. Why do I need a business card? Well, get a calling card put together. And I'll, I'll link it down below to The Art of Manliness and they talk about calling cards. I think it's a very classy way to introduce yourself and to have something that you can remind somebody of who you are and, and what you stand for. I mean, it's something unique and it's about standing out. Okay, getting back to wallets. What do I carry the other, uh, you know, half of the time? I use a money clip. And uh, money clips are really nice because I don't have to have anything in my back pocket. As you can see, this one is really small. It's got my, uh, my Texas Longhorns on it. But that right there, I use the other half and I can put that in my front pocket. When I wear a suit, I never wear, I never have a wallet in my back pocket. I just think it looks bad. And in fact, on a lot of my trousers, uh, any of the ones I've had made in the last couple of years, there are no back pockets, so I can't even be tempted. I also like, I feel because of uh, pickpocket concerns, I like to have hidden pockets. So actually in my trousers, I've got hidden pockets as well that, uh, well, a pickpocket would be very, he'd have to be very intimate, I guess, and try to, to find those. But um, the other 5% of the time, I've got other specialty wallets. So I've got, this is a passport wallet that I use whenever I'm traveling in, in a suit. If I'm not traveling in a suit and I'm traveling with my family, I've got this bigger wallet that I use. Um, when it comes down to it, I always think less is more. So more than 95% of the time, 99.9% .9 of the time, I do not need those big wallets. And if you've got a big wallet, you're going to fill that thing. So always go for the smallest wallet you, cause you're going to find a lot of times we, 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 a lot of guys carry things they do not need to be carrying. Your social security card, you do not need to be carrying that. How often are you applying for a job or do you need to make, I mean, have a copy of it per, no, don't even have a copy of it. Get it on, you know, scan it and have it on your iPhone in, we, we, I've got this on Dropbox and so I can always access my stuff. But yeah, do not carry your original social security card number. Do not carry expired credit cards or you don't really need, why do you need more than two credit cards? I mean, if you've got a JCPenney's card, if you've got a Nordstrom's card, if you've got a gas card, all of these, you, you need to ask yourself, well, do I need to be carrying them in my, in my wallet? 
Can I get that gas card? If I And if you use that gas card, can I just put that in my vehicle and keep it stored in my glove compartment? So always look to keep a small wallet and get rid of anything you don't need to be carrying. And guys, get rid of that condom that's been in your wallet for five years. I mean, if you do happen to use it, I it's not going to be very safe because that thing probably is all torn up and has holes in it. So, <laughs> all right, guys. So that's what I carry in my wallet. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, we'll go ahead and, you know, we have talked about wallets before and I invite you to come visit us at Real Men Real Style. I'm writing a lot of useful content, not just about wallets, but about everything pertaining to men's style. And uh, I think you're really going to enjoy it. Okay. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.